But my friend, do not get stuck in the cares of this life. Because you're going to face God, sir. You're going to stand before the Lord. There will be no cool people on that day of judgment. Sir, get your heart right with God. Stop playing games. You're not promised another day. And if you die today without the salvation of the Lord, you're going to go to hell. And today, God has sent me out here to warn you to repent because judgment is coming. The axe is at the root of the tree, sir. It's time to get right with God. Stop playing games with your life because death is coming for you. It's appointed once for man to die. And then after that, the judgment. You might be running from God today, but my friend, there's coming a day real soon where you won't be running no more. For death is coming for you and you will stand before the God that created you. And you will stand before him and give an account. And today I am pleading with you today that if you die without the mercy that comes through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, you are going to go to hell. Hell awaits all those who reject the salvation of God. And this is the message today, home of Louisiana. Don't go to hell. For God has sent you a savior, but you must be willing to come to Jesus. For God sent his son into the world to die as a sacrifice for our sins. He shed his blood. He died and on the third day he was resurrected so that you might find salvation, my friends. But you must be willing to repent. You must be willing to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not harden your hearts when you hear the voice of God calling out to you, sir. Because there is a day coming when you will stand before God. And today while you are still alive, you got breath in your body. Don't harden your heart to the voice of the Lord. Get right with God before it's too late. Because in the end, all the nice cars, it won't matter. All the money that you make at your job, it won't matter. All the success you ever had in life, it won't matter. The only thing that will matter is did you receive forgiveness, sir? Because we will all give an account at the judgment seat. And today we are pleading with you, home of Louisiana, to repent because judgment is coming. There is a day of accountability, ma'am, where you will stand before God. Get your heart right with the Lord today. Be ye reconciled to God today through the sacrifice of his son Jesus. For judgment is coming, my friend. And you will stand before God and you will give an account for your life. And it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. It will be a fearful thing on that day, ma'am to know that you had a chance to get your heart right with God to receive his salvation, but you have rejected him. So many people, they reject God. We live in a God-rejecting generation. We live in a generation that rejects the salvation of God. We live in a Jesus-hating generation. And my friends, if you do not put down your hatred for God, and come to the mercy seat and receive God's salvation. You are going to die. You won't live forever. And you're going to answer for your life. And you're going to face the judgment for your sin. You will all face the judgment because you have rejected your only means of salvation. And today I'm pleading with you today, don't reject the salvation of God. For God is very merciful. He delights in mercy over judgment. God takes no delight in the destruction of the wicked, but that the wicked should turn and that they should live. God takes no delight in casting people into hell. God takes no delight in judging people for their sins. God's delight is that people turn to Jesus. God's delight is that people repent from their sins. But we live in a generation that has been desensitized by the culture. We live in a generation that don't care about their soul. They're chasing after the material things. What is it, my friend, that if you gain the whole world but you forfeit your soul? And this is what you see today. People are prideful in their cars. 
They are prideful in their money. They are prideful in the temporal things of this life. And because of that, they are blinded to their need of salvation. The things in this world has blinded the people from their need of salvation. And they are on their way to judgment. Do not love the world or the things in this world. If you love the things in the world, the love of the Father is not in you. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, all that is of the world, it's not of the Father. And the world is passing away in the lust of it, my friends. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Put down your pride and come to the Lord Jesus. Do not let the pride of life keep you from the salvation of God. Don't let the pride of having nice cars and being able to go fishing anytime you want and making money keep you from the salvation of God. Don't let the pride of having success in this life keep you from the salvation of God. Come to the Lord Jesus while you are still alive. Come to the Lord Jesus while there's still time, my friends, because time is running out. The clock is ticking down. And there's a day where you will stand before God and you will all give an account at the judgment seat. And there will be no more cruising around in your cars, listening to music. There will be no more enjoying life with your family. When this life is over, what's done is done, my friend. You die without the salvation of God, ma'am, you're gonna go to hell. And this is the message of the gospel, is that God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins so we don't go to hell. But we have to repent, my friends. If not, you're gonna die and you will face the judgment because you choose to live in fornication, you choose to live in homosexuality, you choose to be weed smokers, you choose to live in sodomy, you choose to live in drunkenness. This is a sinful generation, my friends. And you must save yourself from this wicked and perverse generation and come to the Lord. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Be convicted of your sins. If not, my friend, you have no hope. If in this world your only hope is in your money, if in this world your only hope is in your retirement fund, my friend, you have no hope. You broke and you bankrupt. And when you die, my friend, you're going to face the judgment for your sin. And your judgment will be for eternity. You will face the suffering because you have rejected the salvation of God. It will be a suffering that will last for eternity, my friends.